Here I have two functions that return promises, get name, which immediately resolves to my name, and get hobbies, where I'm using a set timeout to create an artificial delay of half a second, and that resolves to an array of hobbies. I'm calling both functions inside of an array using promise.all to resolve the results and log them out. And when I run this, you'll see that I get back an array where the resolve value of my first promise is the first element, and the second element is the array that the second function resolves to. So what I'd really like to do is get an object that I can work with that has a name property and a hobbies property. So I'm gonna update my promise chain and add a then. And in that then, I'm gonna take a function that accepts my result, which is my array, and returns an object with the name and hobbies properties. So I'll give it name, and that's gonna be my result of zero, and hobbies, which is gonna be my result of one. This works, but I really don't like having the indices mentioned in this object. So what I can do is I can come back here and instead of just taking the response as an array, I can use destructuring and I can actually pull those array values in as individual items. So I'll pull them in as name and hobbies and then I can update my object that's being returned to use name and hobbies. And I can shorten this even further by using shorthand syntax here since my names and the variables with my values are the same. So in order to tighten this up even further, I'm gonna pull in some functions from Ramda. Ramda is already included in my file here, so I'm just gonna use destructuring to grab a couple utility functions out of it. So I'm gonna grab zip and from pairs. And I'll just set that to equal R. And now I can come down here and I'm gonna update this then I'm going to get rid of this object and I'm going to enclose both of these key names in quotes and then I'm going to add a call to zip. So what we'll see is the output has changed and I've lost my object, but it's created an array of arrays and each of those inner arrays is a key and a value pair. So you can see that I have name and hobbies. So now what I can do is I can add to my promise chain with then, and I can use Ramdas from pairs to convert that back into an object. Now that I have these two steps, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, you know what, I can compose these. So I'm gonna create a composition and I'll call from pairs after my call to zip and I can get rid of that second then. And now I have my object again. Now this composition of zip and from pairs is so common that there's actually a shorthand for it. So I'm gonna get rid of the call to compose from pairs and I'm gonna use zip object from Ramda. And I can replace all of these imports with a single zip object. And we're back to our original result.